Hi guys, welcome back to Pakaeng Pinoy TV. I'm going to show you how to make Humba Bisaya. I'm using a large wok over medium heat. Once it is hot enough, I'm going to add the pork belly. As you notice, I did not put any cooking oil. We wanted to let the meat release its own fat. Kumba is a Bisayan braised pork dish which is very similar to classic adobo but I noticed that this recipe is a little bit sweet and it's a mixture of soy sauce, vinegar and other people also put in pineapple juice so we will just keep on cooking this until it caramelizes until the meat is caramelized and believe me it will take an extra effort on browning the pork belly but it will surely enrich the flavor of the dish so we'll just keep on cooking this okay i'm going to flip it on the other side to make sure everything is cooked properly what we're trying to achieve the color of the meat is brown the fat has been caramelized and we have so much all going on here so this is perfect I'm going to remove it from the pan I'm just going to use my tongue and remove it one by one Using the same pan, I'm going to remove some of the oil and then I'm going to start sauteing the onion and the garlic. We will saute this until the onions are soft and translucent. Stir it occasionally so it won't get burned. So this is ready. We're going to put back our cooked pork belly. So just give it a stir. Next, we will add the vinegar. And we will let it cook for about 2-3 to three minutes without stirring it. Okay, so that's very important. We have to let the vinegar cook first before we stir so it won't get too sour. I know it's tempting, but please do not stir this. Just let it cook 
the meat will try to absorb the flavor. So we'll just let it simmer. Next, add the peppercorn and the bay leaves. So we've used four pieces of dried bay leaves. Just give it a stir. Then we'll add the soy sauce and the pineapple juice. Also adding some brown sugar. Stir until the sugar is dissolved. Then I will cover this and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Next, add the dried banana blossom. So you can actually buy this in supermarket or in Asian stores. Add the black beans, then we will season it with salt. For the black beans or tau si, if you're using a canned black beans, make sure that you drain it well because the brine from it is a little bit salty. Let it simmer for another 5 minutes until the banana blossoms are soft. Here's our pork humba. It looks delicious. As you can see, the liquid has been reduced and the meat looks so tender. It actually melts in your mouth. And look at the color. It's brown mahogany and it really tastes awesome. So you guys should try this. I hope you like this video. That's how we make humba bisaya. I hope you can try this recipe. And if you have any suggestions that you would like me to do on my next video, just comment it below. Click on subscribe and tap the bell icon so you can get updates on our next videos. And if you want to get the full recipe, just visit our website at www.pakainpinoytv.com. Don't forget to follow us in Instagram and Facebook page. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!